powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES. Hey, what's up, guys? So, you know, it's best here. This is my first video on the grounds here in Las Vegas for CES 2013. And the, really, the first big announcement of this year's conference is coming from NVIDIA. They announced the NVIDIA Shield, which is a portable gaming device that's going to be powered by the new Tegra 4. Graphics should be pretty close to console like, um, you know, quality with this new Tegra 4 processor inside of it. But anyway, it basically looks like an Xbox controller with an iPad mini display on it. But the one big difference, though, between the iPad mini is that this display that it's going to be packing is a retinal display yes they added an l at the end of the retina not just retina just like apple does but anyway it's gonna have that retinal display on top of it it has dual analog sticks d-pad um all the buttons from the shoulder buttons to the triggers and all those things that you're uh, you look you become accustomed to with modern controllers nowadays it will be having that now this cool little device is going to be featuring and running pure android it's going to be a pure android experience which means that you can also play games from the google play store um, directly on this device and also too it will be able to connect with steam and so now you can play all your steam games Games in your library on this device as well and they demonstrated playing Assassin's Creed on there and it seemed to run pretty smoothly so the Nvidia Shield can connect to your TV set or your computer monitor via HDMI or you can stream this thing to your PC or to your TV um, using Steam's big picture mode and it seemed to work pretty good again uh, they seem to work out all the diff little different things to make it a kind of a seamless process to be able to stream all your games and content to another monitor but now, since this thing is going to be mostly for portable use, it features a whopping huge battery inside of it that's going to get you 5 to 10 hours worth of gaming on there, which is not bad at all. And plus, too, if you just want to watch HD video on this thing, it will be able to play that up to 24 hours. And the video is also boasting the speakers inside of this thing. It says it's going to be pretty comparable to the Jawbone Jambox. It should be better than a laptops like HP that come with Beats Audio inside of it, which that shouldn't be too hard to beat. And then one last kicker to this device is that it's actually going to be able to handle 4K video and push that out to a 4K compatible screen. So that's pretty awesome. One of the first devices to be able to do that coming here stateside. Uh, but still, we got to wait for TV sets to finally hit. And then when they do hit, they're going to be pretty expensive. But anyway, it's pretty cool to see this device able to do that. So again, this device is set to launch in quarter two of this year. And there's no price set yet, but I'm kind of expecting it to be between $300 and $500 when it finally does launch. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for more CES coverage. This is Soldier Knows Best. If you hit, leave a comment down below. But what are the products that you may want to see me cover at this event? Leave that comment down below, and I'll try my best to get to them and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace thanks to ford for powering our ces coverage